What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. I wanted to make an additional video for this Sunday and I'm going to upload it immediately just to show you guys something that I came to a conclusion and I was thinking about this the entire time and that's how are the carrots going to grow through the net pod, okay? Since this is the top of the carrot and the carrot grows downward from its stem, from its original stem, let me just lift this up a little bit. Here's what I've done to these two after thinking on how to properly allow the carrot to grow hydroponically. I literally did an hour or so of research looking at different images and reading a couple of things in regards to these carrots and growing them hydroponically and honestly, I can't find anything. But then I realized I had these, these little discs. As you can see here, they have a slit through them as well as a hole. And basically, they could, they could, um, you could call that your growing medium, but realistically, it's basically a placeholder. This way, the carrots, and this is the only time that I would use this, this way the carrots could actually grow, uh, you know, upward, because these now, I think, now that I've realized, and looking at images and videos, this is going to get pretty large. It could get very heavy at the top, and also, I mean, depending on how, how long a carrot will go. So... I want to show you how I did this because as you can see here, I'm going to slowly go ahead and watch. I'm going to give my wife the camera. Basically, here's, here's the root system to this. What I did was I gradually, you know, shaking, shaking this very lightly and slowly, I'm able to remove the entire thing. Okay, you want to just gradually grab these and, and just take them out just so we're not really hurting the root system. Then what I did was, I went ahead and just literally just opened this up. Okay, and you gotta be just pretty, pretty careful with this. You're gonna, you're gonna probably lose some root, but it is what it is. And when you get to a point where the roots are caught up a little, a little much around the stem or around the roots, you just wanna be careful. And here you go. So here's what I have here. And this is probably the formation of the carrot. And this is just the top area right here. And this is how it's going to form. And it's got this beautiful root. And actually, when you smell it, it's incredible. I mean, if you, if you, if you like uh, carrot juice, it's exactly what it smells like. Next, what I did was I take some of this uh, rockwool cube. Oh. I take some of this rockwool cube. And I kind of put it around the top perimeter here which is probably the uh, kind of the sturdiest part. Then, with this little thing here, and I'm not sure, I, I can't even remember how I got these or when I got these or what the scenario was when I got them, but basically, you could set it up just like that. Okay. And sometimes, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's not hard to get it set up properly in there, but basically that's it. You are basically now allowing it to flow freely, and it doesn't really matter if these fall to the tops or not. What really matters is that we now have allowed the carrots to freely maintain. You, might, you know what I might do is I might put a little bit of tape on each end right here just to uh, make sure they don't move. But as you can see at the bottoms here, we will have carrots growing right through the bottom, exactly where it all, it's all started here. And that'll allow them to just freely, I mean, look at some of these roots, they're incredible. Beautiful and white, look very healthy. But I wanted to make a video of, about this because I realized that, you know what, I gotta act fast and I gotta find a, uh, I gotta find something to um, to get for these that will allow me to uh, immediately change out the other six because I don't even know what these are called. I mean, I saw some ideas. This is where I got the idea from. I remembered I had something like this, and uh, it, it, I just remembered, and I was like, "Oh wow!" I was like, "I have something just like that," and I have to immediately change it out because it's kind of critical. Um, for for the transition for these carrots because they're getting it to they're getting to a point they're now getting to a point 
where the roots are getting so heavy they're getting so heavy that it's it's going to be harder for you to do if you're in this situation it's going to be harder for you to do um, moving forward so this is what I came up with and and this is my uh, you know this is how I'm handling this situation right now and also a quick update let me just grab this camera from you also a quick update unfortunately literally in the last two hours look what happened to my watermelons okay my watermelon plants got totally chewed up the actual leaves by my cat okay I am I was furious I literally have calmed down since then but this was this is like two months of work and it's so important that everybody realizes that you have to lock up your tents if you have animals and they like to munch on things the good thing about this is they he only attacked a number of leaves as you can see there there's the node and there's also a top node right there which is the extended growth for those two plants so that is one thing that I'm like kind of like grateful for I mean this plant he literally dragged it out and it was like laying here on the floor um, but I think everything should be fine I'll keep you guys updated on those watermelons but uh, again for the carrots this is how I'm setting them up now and I think this is going to be the best uh, the best way to grow them hydroponically and move forward from that as you can see I also chopped up for dinner the top heavy part of the uh, of the basil so I took that down um, and it was unbelievably delicious um, if you're not familiar with the caprese salad make sure to google that that's basically just tomato a slice of tomato mozzarella cheese and some basil on top with a little bit of a balsamic vinaigrette drizzle it's absolutely delicious and very very it's a, I mean, it's a healthy snack besides the cheese but um, you, you, you could go light on that but this is the main thing that I wanted to show you because I'm doing it immediately right now and I wanted to make sure I update you guys and show you what I've done to improve this situation because I realized that those carrots hydroponically will never grow correctly they might grow depending from the top they might grow like this big okay super teeny because they won't be able to go any further because carrots go down I'm like looking at the root system and I'm like holy smokes I'm like this is crazy you know like <laughs> I mean this now makes more sense and the reason why I came to some of this um, this vision here is because I started realizing how important and this is a totally different topic and I'm gonna really get into this in another episode probably this week I'm gonna have some time to uh, to do some cool topics on how important indoor agriculture is going to become due to overpopulation due to water supplies due to a lot of issues that are going to be coming up in the next 20 30 40 years okay we're running out of land we're running out of water we can make electricity by wind we're not running out of wind okay we can make electricity with wind and you know it's all about being able to sustain your own harvest this is now I'm, I'm looking at this whole thing from such a different perspective and I'm sorry about you know ranting on right now about it, this is you know this this all just started because I started researching I started reading things and I started just looking at a different perspective of certain things of what I got going on here and what I'm trying to actually achieve by showing people how to be able to sustain your own grow not just for the fact of allowing yourself to have uh, you know a source of food knowing where it's coming from not having to pay for something that came from three four five thousand miles away uh, that's just sitting in a grocery store that's lost all its nutrients because it's, it was chopped down two, three weeks ago, thrown in the freezer three times, and now it's arriving at your supermarket. There's so much more to it. As I continue reading on, on, on current events and, and just innovation and in agriculture, I keep thinking of, wow, what I'm doing here to show you guys about growing indoors is beyond important for your health your children's health and anybody else in your family and having a setup like this is so important all right thank you guys for watching make sure to give me the give me the thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you like this video make sure you share it with your family or friends on Facebook Google Plus wherever it is and also down below are all my links for everything that I currently use to maintain this grow setup I hope to hear from you guys soon make sure to comment down below on some of your thoughts 
and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys.